When it comes to software delivery and operational performance, the DevOps Research and Assessment, or DORA, has developed metrics to measure the effectiveness of organizations' development and delivery practices. Not only can these metrics be used as a common way or an industry standard to compare how well organizations are doing, but they can also help leaders and teams measure and improve what matters in relation to their software delivery and performance. There are a total of five metrics, which are the following, four plus availability. We'll cover the updates to the deployment frequency and lead time for changes graphs in GitLab, where deployment frequency is how often does your organization deploy code to production or release it to end users, and lead time for changes is how long does it take to go from code committed to code successfully running in production. The specific features introduced in GitLab 14.8 that we will cover are additional data for deployment frequency graph and display average and median for DORA 4 metrics graphs. Let's go over the additional data for deployment frequency graph first. This is the way the deployment frequency used to look like prior to GitLab 14.8. Notice that there is no line for the average in the graph. Let's see the way it looks like in this new release. Here we see the GitLab project for our GitLab.com website. Let's head over to Analytics Value Stream. Notice that the average for deployment frequency is already displayed here. In GitLab 14.8, this average is also shown in the DORA graph for deployment frequency. Let's update the measurement time frame to see what the average has been in the last seven days. Now let's head over to Analytics CICD and click on Deployment Frequency. Notice the average line here matches the number from the value stream screen. The calculation and display of these averages provide insight into the effectiveness of your development and delivery practices without having to spend time calculating these by hand. The other update to GitLab is related to the display average and median for DORA 4 metrics graph. Since we already covered the deployment frequency graph, let's go directly to the lead time graph. Here you see the median for lead time. It covers the last seven days, but like in the other graph, you can adjust the date range to last month or last 90 days. The calculation and display of these averages and medians streamline the evaluation of the effectiveness of your development and delivery practices. They also help you better measure and improve what matters in relation to your software delivery and performance. I hope you enjoyed this video and until next time. Thank <laughs> you.